Hi guys, Archie Luxury here on the Paul Pluto channel. We're doing paid review 23 QB56. This is a very nice review. Three piece luxury combo meal deal. Quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing a bluesy. I'm wearing a bluesy. Okay, guys, let's run the intro and let's discuss this collection. <laughs> guys archie luxury on the archie luxury channel how are you people no we're not we're on the poor pluto channel poor pluto channel poor pluto channel poor pluto channel so guys today i'm doing a paid review this here is I'm not, i think it's for rob and he says there let's have a look here let's jump straight into this review here he goes, Pontiff, good morning from the US. I'm a huge fan of your videos and would like your input on my collection. I've sent you a hundred US dollars. One hundred US dollars. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and he says, what does he say here? He says, he says, he says, he says, he says, he says, um, I have the following watches. Okay, let's let's take a, a sticky beak at this. Um, he has he has Rolex GMT Master Two, Pepsi, reference one two six seven one zero B L R O. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, nice piece. Always like this watch, so I bought it a year ago. Yep, gotcha. It is a very nice piece. Expensive, but it's a nice piece. When I say expensive, expensive on the gray market. It's not cheap, is it, hey? That's that's where the problem is. You you can't really get this piece um, at retail. That's that's the problem. That is the problem there. Um, even better looking. So he goes, he goes. Really enjoy wearing it. Even better looking in person than the pictures. You betcha. It is a super duper looking watch. There. We'll just bring we'll bring this three piece feed up on the screen here. Uh, so that's the the Pepsi. Nice Pepsi. Look at that. Nice Pepsi. Uh, it's got the little the coronet between Swiss made there. Um, beautiful piece on the the Jubilee. I love them on an Oyster. I love them on a Jubilee. Just a beautiful watch. What a nice looking watch. Next piece, next piece indeed here. Next piece indeed. We have got here Rolex Day Date 18238. This was the watch that made me fall in love with watches. Was very excited a few years ago when I got an opportunity to buy one. For me, 36 mil will always be the only size for a day date. Yes, sir. Nice crisp example. You look at the shoulders here on it. It's not, you know, often. They get over polished there. They get a ding and people polish them back to get rid of the ding. But this is nice, crispy example. Nice. The other thing is the crispy bezel. Look at the bezel there. Nice, crispy bezel. Uh, the bracelet's in nice, reasonable condition. Re re nice condition. Nice condition. And then finally, what do we got? We got one of my favorite Jegula Cultura Reversos. Jegula Cultura Reverso Grand Calendar. So these are a triple date. They're not an annual calendar or a perpetual calendar. These are a triple date, which means at the end of the month, um, they run to 31 days. You've got to adjust the date. So the day, obviously, it's a seven-day cycle, which is correct. The month is the monthly cycle. So the only thing you need to adjust is months that have fewer than 31 days. You've got to adjust. Um, 
I'm a huge Reverso fan, and this fits my wrist very nicely. My next purchase will be a Patek. I'm thinking 5230G, 5396G, or a 5960P. Look forward to your thoughts about the three-piece combo meal deal and what you'd add next. Okie dokie. So there we go. This is the three-piece um, feed there. Really quite, i got to be honest with you, this is a, it's a nice collection. I have got no problems at all with this, this collection here. It's, it is a, it, it's, it's a nice, 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 nice collection. I got no, no worries at all with this collection. Beautiful collection. Okay. So now the question is, um, what do I think here? Well, I like it. You got a nice steel everyday watch in the Pepsi. The day date 36. I love the 18238. I prefer the double quick set instead of the 18038 single quick set. I think that's a good improvement. And I also love the steel dress watch in the reverso. So these three pieces, what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful collection. What would I add there? That's a that's a that's a real I think to be honest with you, he don't need to add nothing. This is quite a powerful, heavy hitting collection. Three piece stunner. Do you really need to add? But why not? Why not? Let's see what we can we can add there. And uh the first piece he's considering is a Patek Philippe. So you know, I've got to be honest with you. I've got a soft spot for Patek Philippe's. I um, I really do love these watches. And what's he looking for? Well, you know what his first choice is. Okay, he's looking. He's. I'm just going to change the the picture. Get a picture up here of what his first choice of Patek Philippe is. Let's have a look at this. And it's a da 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 da. Here we go. World time. This is the white gold five two three zero. Oh, that is beautiful. I've owned. I've owned a couple of world times. Unfortunately, I had a burglary and I had my fifty one ten J stolen. You never know. Your luck it may turn up. So he's considering one of these. Yes, love it. Love it. Love it. The other one he's considering is a 5396G. <clears throat> I got to tell you, I actually, the 5396, if you're going to get one, I like them in rose gold with the white dial, rose gold with the blue dial, white gold I like with the white dial. They also do a gray dial, which to me, there's nothing wrong with it. If someone gave me one, I'd worship it, but I prefer the white. I prefer personally in white gold. I prefer the white dial. One of my favorite all time annual calendars. Yes, sir, indeed. And the other piece he's looking at is a 5960P. JJ, no, yeah, JJ had one of these. JJ, my good friend, JJ had one. Yes, sir. Look at these. This is an annual calendar chronograph. Okay, which one would I pick? Now, what I would say is, if it was me, if it was me, personally, I think any of those three would be amazing. What would be my favorite? You know what? They are so amazing. I'd, any of those three would be absolutely biking amazing. I think, myself, you look for the deal. What is the best deal? You say you know what i would really you've got to look for the deal you've got to get the best deal i honestly think any of those would be stunning the sweet spot would be actually i think the most personally out of them if you wanted to me to put money down 5960p a little bit expensive uh 5396 uh, um, beautiful, but I think the world time that would quench it for me personally. For me, that'd be the one, but that's not to say it's it's not a great 
you know the other ones are not a great piece um so i would would definitely say please um i would definitely say any of those fit in that you got the pepsi pepsi i love the pepsi i love the day date 18238 36 mil day day i love it um i also love the reverso i think a paddock would be absolutely perfect to add about now i don't i don't have a problem with that i think that would be a really nice addition and what a beautiful four piece you've got steel rolex in the pepsi gold rolex in the day day reverso when you want something different and a paddock when you want to just just kick hit the ball right out of the park so out of those three paddocks i think it depends which one you're obviously going to be buying these pre-owned it's which one do you get the best deal on at the time i personally think either of those three would be absolutely amazing 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 so yeah that's 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 my beautiful three piece at a paddock I'd, I'd i'd say any of those three would be fine the sweet spot for me i reckon the world time would be just an amazing thing to have there i've always had a soft spot for world times but that's not to say the 5396 is garbage. It's not chopped liver. That is a beautiful piece. 5960 in platinum. My God, that's a beautiful piece. Though Either of those three is fine. You've got three beautiful watches. Good luck. Enjoy life. Thank you for getting a paid review. Remember, guys, I can't survive on Google Ads alone. Paid reviews keep me full time on YouTube. Without this support, I cannot survive and i want to say a very good sponsor of mine is david sw if you guys are in america and buying or selling a watch i would highly recommend who would i recommend david sw let's run the ad and i will see you in the next one remember guys you want to get a paid review 50 us dollars look down below in the description Organize a paid review. I'll tell you what I think of your collection. I'll give you some advice. I'll answer a few questions for you. And I will see you in the next one. Hi, guys. It's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer, hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW.